Pier 57 and Pier 58 coming up here. And uh, they're both closed. Pier 58 actually collapsed and then following that they closed uh, Pier 57 right here. Uh, it would be an illegal U-turn there, sir. And there's a great wheel currently closed. Yeah, and people like doing illegal UEs here. It's a beautiful evening. We're walking down a pier unknown. The time is 6:30. The time is too early for squidding. This is for most people too early for squidding. Squidding doesn't begin until maybe 10, 11. We're all about things that blow. Bait, yeah. <laughs> All right, we're uh, close to Pier Unknown here. Woo, look at that beautiful sunset. Damn, that's beautiful. <laughs> it's a beautiful evening here at Pier Unknown. Pier Unknown is right next to Pier... 70. <laughs> and uh, Pier 70, if some of you might have watched MTV's Real World back in the day, the cast stayed here. This is where the cast stayed. That's the space needle there behind Pier 70. It's a beautiful day, you can see, beautiful sunset. Sun's about to set. It's like maybe five minutes from setting, as you might be able to see. Here. Serious business, and this is early. Like people, squid fish, starting at like, like I said earlier, ten or eleven. See how long it takes, right? There's a good amount of people here. Like I was saying earlier, this is early for squid fishing, but early bird gets the worm. This is it, bro. <laughs> this is it, this is the life. It's uh, kind of... Um, it's not popping right now, that's why I see everyone just chilling. It's fun, it's relaxing. So the sun just set. What time is it? It's 6.45. Wow. 6.45 is when the sun sets. It's a good mix of family and non-family folks. To my left there, people out here relaxing, trying to catch some, some squid. Eric, you're listening to... There's even a generator. <laughs> There's a generator here about the generator but yeah it's good to see families out here just hanging out you know free of charge it's a free event all right I'm excited to see what the, the first squid might look like that these guys might catch I'm more of a spectator I'm more a spectator I'm not so much a, a um, fisherman just trying to document what folks do here in Seattle the different things that people do okay I want to know which one of you is going to catch a catch one first. Father or son? We'll find <laughs> out. <laughs> you got you got water. Oh, what's this? Oh, white claw. Hey, you want a white claw, uh, white claw, bro? All right. <laughs> Truly. You got one? No. Oh, what happened? Got, gotta lose the jig. Oh no. Psych! Oh. I saved it. Oh. Yeah. Woo! That was a close one. Oh wow. 
You almost lost it. Woo! I suppose. Try to put chem light on here. It didn't yeah. work out very well. Uh -huh. Different techniques that everyone does. Yeah. Don't do that, guys. It doesn't work. <laughs> Bro, just chilling. Too bad I'm not retired yet because I'll be baking every day. <laughs> this is the just, just chilling. The easy life. Hey, so usually how long does it take before you catch a squid? Once you cast it, bro. Depends. It could be like two seconds right when you cast in, five seconds to a minute. But then once once you catch one or you hook one and you reel it in, the school's right there. So oh. it's just like a you better get it while it's here, yeah, yeah. you know, before they, they uh, yeah. disperse or whatever. But yeah, it's it's pretty awesome because uh, once <clears throat> someone someone hooks one, they'll call it out and everyone will start catching them. And everyone. Cool. So, so from what you know, as far as like Seattle, besides here at Pier Unknown, where else do people go uh, squid fishing at? Um, well, once they're hitting, they're hitting everywhere, bro. Especially out here. I mean, you can go to any marina. Any marina. Um, I would say, I mean, Des Moines. Des Moines. So, there's an unknown uh, location there. <laughs> um, <laughs> you can go to Alki. Unknown okay. locations there too. <laughs> so you, you've been to Alki, right? You've been to Alki. Yeah. What kind of success have you had at Alki? Actually, I haven't really been out there to squid fish, but I heard it was pretty yeah, popular. It's popular. A lot of people go to Alki from from what I've I've seen when I go who's out there at night, man. A lot of people out there. Yeah, you might have to hit it up because, um, especially with the sunset, the views. Yeah. It's relaxing out here. The sun just set. People are just hanging out and having a good time. This is what life is all about. Work hard, rest hard. <laughs> <laughs> work, work hard, rest yeah. hard, play hard, you know? Work left, and hard. sometimes, yeah, drink truly. My son, he can, can I sit somewhere right here for, yeah, yeah. for, 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 oh, yeah. for his safety? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 sit here, buddy. Uh, Are you fishing? You. Are you fishing too? No, you can sit right here. Is uh, right here good for you? Yeah, there you go. That, we share, we share. Yes. Right. Yeah, it's good to practice safety, right? Right there is dangerous. Right. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Just don't catch that in my eyeball, okay? That thing there. <laughs> Remember, I saw you. The drop down. All right, buddy. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. You look like he knows what he's doing. Catch a lot yesterday. You look like you look like you might be one of the younger uh, fishermen out here. I'm excited to see what y'all might catch. Puget Sound with Olympic Mountains. Beautiful out here. Very light to no wind at all this evening. Which is nice because if there was any wind you would definitely hear it in my audio on this camera. So my camera appreciates the fact that there is no wind. It's very nice. You can see the 12th man flag on top of the space needle there. Go Hawks! All right. I need to use a restroom, so I think I'm gonna go check out that uh, that blue honey bucket there. Go inspect the honey bucket. See if it's uh. See if the honey bucket is something that is usable. <laughs> so here in the. Seattle Puget Sound area we refer to the honey bucket as the honey bucket. Some people call it um, portage on. There might be other names for it. What do you call it? Let me know in the comment section. Oh man. Let me know in the comment section what you call it. <laughs> the honey bucket, not bad, usable, surprise. All right, let's see what these guys have caught so far. <laughs> a couple of squid, <laughs> a couple of squid there. 
Don't look at those shoe wheels. They got all dried up. Yeah, this guy's a serious. They got a generator there. Ooh. Yeah. Good vibes out here. Some of these people are serious. I'll be selling it. Oh, you yeah, buy some bait. Oh, yeah, I'm trying to buy some bait. Oh, serious out here. <laughs> That's a good amount of people out here. Anything yet, buddy? <laughs> Not yet, huh? Takes a while, takes time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Careful, buddy. Ooh. Catch anything? Oh, no, yeah, not, not yet. yet. No, okay. Yet. Okay. Well, so takes well, time. So. Love takes time. You can see more people are here now. More people show up as the night progresses. Hey, yeah, we got some. <laughs> yeah, they, they be wholesaling over here, you know? You get a good deal. Game, yo. You get a good deal? Yeah, yo, five for twenty. These, five these, for twenty. These joints are five bucks a piece. Okay. Do they have a great one? So five, five, four, get one. And the old heads, huh? like you know, they, they screwed me up on it. Like you know, these ones, are the light ones, you know, it's perfect for the, the heavy ones are for the windy days. These ones are for like perfect, like right now. Wow. I'm learning a lot out here, yo. <laughs> wow. Okay. There's a different bait for uh, different situations. Yeah, we got like a little thing going on, you know, just. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta yeah. make it official squid bucket. <laughs> <laughs> so the time is 7-Eleven right now and we haven't caught any squid yet. No squid yet. 40 minutes into the game, no squid. No squid. Squidless in Seattle. But Eric just told me that once you start seeing those boats out there, that means it's starting to get hot. That's what he's saying. Oh, yeah. Find out. Yeah, those boats there, so. Let's see. Those guys down there caught a few squid, though. I saw in their buckets. So you get these things custom made locally? Mm. Wow. Put a light on them and make it dark. Huh. So like who um, who makes these? Um, there's a few few guys that custom makes these. Uh -huh. Wow. No glow. But you can't see it right now because it's still light out. Right, right. But yeah, there's a few guys that custom make these. I mean you buy these at the store. Mm -hmm. They're not really um up to par because it's not right. like the local ones are the best these are the local so ones. those guys are selling these things they know what they're doing huh yeah you get yeah. these for like five dollars pop out here i mean you get guys that like i mean you join a group on facebook and you know you put an order and they'll come out here and just set up shop so can i mean they know what they're talking about too you, so. you can buy these at sporting goods stores but it's not going to be the same it's right? not going to be the same you want the local the local made um material and mm -hmm. uh you know, Catches a lot. So. All right, we'll find out how much it catches. Yeah, no, <laughs> ain't no, ain't no, ain't no, ain't no squid in the bucket yet. yet. <laughs> oh wow! Should we go? Yeah. All right. Let's see what happens. See what happens. We're gonna see what happens with that bait he's using. <laughs> I don't want to get hooked. <laughs> okay. Careful, buddy. Oh, careful. <laughs> Good job. Good job. So the time is 
<laughs> the bucket's still empty. We've been here one hour. Okay, we gotta catch a squid. Oh, you the the you. First the squid of the night. Dang, okay. There you go. All right. I was just talking to a gentleman over there, and he's got a few. He's got a few. He's got a few. I saw a few in his bucket. He's been here for maybe a couple hours, but he was saying that the guys at the very edge of the pier, to secure those spots, you have to come really early. Like those guys probably got here around 1 or 2 p.m. So you have to come really early to secure prime real estate here. And he was also saying that, you know, here at Pier Unknown, it doesn't really matter. Like, Pier, whether you're at Pier Unknown, here at the Seattle waterfront next to Pier 70, or um, if you're at Elk High Beach, or um, Edmonds, um, Des Moines Marina, there's a few places that people like to, to, to go squid fishing at. It doesn't really matter where you go. If it's hot, it's hot. Two. Got two? What? Let's see, let's see. <laughs> oh, damn. Okay. You caught one, Eric? Yeah. All right. All right. Father and son each caught a squid. Making it for a total two squids. Oh, hey, what's up, bro? <laughs> oh, shit. What's up? <laughs> what's up, bro? How are you guys? Oh, what's yeah, what's chilling, up, you know? Came here a little early. Oh, Y'all yeah, just setting up shop. You catch anything? No, I just got here. Yeah? Probably, oh, you just got here? To be honest with you, it's probably, it's probably gonna start gonna start popping. Like, you know what I mean? Like a little After bit. After we leave, yeah. Hey, this is what everybody says. Huh? Uh, first, first time down here. Oh, for real? Yeah. yeah. Where do you go usually? Uh, it's the... The, uh, the, the, the Moines, right? No. Or yeah. 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 yeah, I was just there yesterday. It was popping. Uh, hey, where's, yeah. where's your favorite spot for uh, squid fishing? Over there. <laughs> <laughs> Pure unknown. Yeah, over there. <laughs> Pure unknown. Alright y'all. Alright bro. I'll go stay out here and party. Go all in, okay? Okay. <laughs> it's kinda early for squid fishing. It ain't yeah. even eight yet. It's yeah, it's pretty early eight. for squid fishing. It's on a slow night. But when it's popping, it's really popping. But uh it's always tomorrow. So yeah, it's always tomorrow. I'm not worried about it. It's funny because yeah, like I was telling you earlier, that one guy way by the edge of the dock, your buddy actually. He's like, man, yesterday it was hot and then today it's cold. You're like, from day to day, it just varies so much, you know? It's weird. But yeah. But you never know, like, you know, schools. Schools might come up here. We don't got time for that. <laughs> we got some noodles. So we're here, for, <laughs> we're here for an hour and a half. Caught two of them. Hey, you know, at least we caught something. So, there you go, folks. Squid fishing in Seattle up here unknown. <laughs>